Hi guys, welcome back to Pretty Lifestyles Blog. It's your favorite girl, Dolly Me Courtney, and I love having you here. I would like us to go over the clear signs that shows you are not a narcissist. After coming to the realization of what it means to be a narcissist, you begin to ponder if you are actually a narcissist or even begin to point fingers. This often happens because at some point or the other, we have all expressed one or two of these narcissistic traits and then it leaves us wondering, am I a narcissist? Could my boyfriend or girlfriend be a narcissist? Is my best friend a narcissist? Or are my parents narcissists? The irony of this is, most times, a true narcissist will think of pointing fingers first before even thinking if they actually could be. It's hopefully not a question most of us ask ourselves, but being in a toxic relationship can actually make you wonder even more. Toxicity can play such havoc with your emotions and psych, you lose sight of who you are. It can make you behave strangely, even worse, turning you into someone you barely recognize. It could seem as though all narcissistic traits are downright toxic. Well, yes they are, if indeed it's narcissism. But very few a time, some of these narcissistic traits are simply healthy indications of confidence and not total narcissism. You have probably read a lot of articles saying we all have narcissistic traits and have taken a gazillion quizzes, but still, you still can't tell for sure. Well, that's why I'm here today, to expose you to the five clear signs that shows that you are definitely not a narcissist. And what today? Number one, narcissists don't sit around wondering if they are narcissists. Could I be a narcissist? How do I know I'm not the narcissist? These questions means you are concerned you might be. My point lies in the word concerned. Narcissists don't sit around concerned about this. They don't wonder if they hurt people. They are not self-reflecting on ways to be better friends, parents or partners etc. As far as they are concerned, they are always right and nothing is wrong with them. This is actually the primary determinant of whether you are or you aren't a narcissist. Number two, you don't feel you are always right. I know best. This is a good and popular line of a narcissist. They feel they know best. This goes in line with point number one. Narcissists are often rigid people who know how to be flexible only when it suits their course. 99% of the time, if not 100%, they think they are always right. And so it poses very difficult to even correct them. Narcissistic listening dismisses, negates, ignores, minimizes, denigrates, or otherwise renders irrelevant other people's concerns and comments. A tone of contempt is particularly strong narcissistic indicator. Most of them are know-it-alls and have a hard time getting along with other people because they refuse to believe they could possibly be wrong about anything. They have a sense of superiority and oftentimes don't even realize it. Number three, trauma bond. Another sign that you are not a narcissist is that you are experiencing a trauma bond. Narcissists do not experience or develop trauma bonds. Only their victims and targets usually do. They don't attach too strongly to people emotionally. Their attachments look completely different than ours. Number four, you care about the opinions of others about yourself. If the opinions of others about certain traits of yours often bothers you, then you are most likely not a narcissist. For a narcissist, it is all about them. Their problem isn't their problem, but rather your own problem is their problem. To them, there is always a reason behind everything, so your opinion about them doesn't even matter much and they aren't bothered. Number five, you are experiencing symptoms of PTSD or CPTSD. If you don't know what those acronyms stand for, PTSD stands for post-traumatic stress disorder and CPTSD is a complex post-traumatic stress disorder. 
We find out they've cheated again. We find out they've lied again. We find out they never left their ex that we kept asking about. We find out they got a loan in our name, ETC. These repeated traumas have a very real effect on our psyches and on our physical bodies. So, if you're experiencing PTSD or CPTSD, you are not a narcissist. Narcissists are not or are hardly ever traumatized by relationships, only their targets are the people they are abusing. This doesn't even touch on the verbal abuse, the verbal assaults, the verbal holocaust that we have to endure in these relationships. In conclusion, there are millions of people writing and talking about narcissism. This includes the narcissistic people themselves. So, it would not be surprising to find a narcissist accusing you of being the narcissist. If they come out throwing out different things that you are doing that prove you are a narcissist, well, it's most likely not possible if you are experiencing some of these symptoms above. So that is just as it goes guys. If you found this helpful, as usual, give me a thumbs up. If you have any comments or if you have met a narcissist before, or you happen to be a victim do leave a comment or your experience in the comment section below and do not forget to hit the subscribe button until next time bye